Well, this time we will see how we can uh, save the contents of a table or the contents of a complete database, i.e. all the tables in a database, to a text file and then import one or more tables, one table or uh, all the tables in, in a certain database into another database. Remember, this is a way maybe of backup or sometimes a way of transferring uh, uh, data tables or databases from one host, one server to uh, another. Now the tool that I'm going to use to dump the contents of a table or database is called MySQL Dump. It's a nice tool. Uh, if it's not installed on your machine you can install it. And if you read the manual pages, I'm using Ubuntu Linux as, as, as I mentioned before, it's telling you, you know, it's a database backup program it's a backup program originally written by da 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 it's a nice you can read about that and learn all the uh, you know the syntax and how it works but um, so I am going to show you how you can you know dump the contents of teams table from the teams database that we used before to a text file and the syntax is like this you do mysql dump minus u root minus p to ask for a password and then you give the database name and then you give the table name. Now the table name you can have more than one table list them like that and then you give it the right arrow meaning the push the output into this file so if this file uh, is already there it will overwrite it if it's not there it will create it and that's it really to dump the contents of this table teams table into that file. Let's do that on my desktop of course as you can as you have seen so let's just, I'm sorry, let's copy it, paste it. It'll ask me for my password, my root password. Look away now, please. And if I check my desktop now, as you can see, uh, Teams table dump, then it's there. I can have a look at the contents in there. And as you can see, these are comments and some, some other settings, I'm sorry. Uh, these, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the. Uh, hyphen hyphen are comments comments and da, 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 da. that's my server version my sql version i'm sorry my sql version is 5.5.09 and then now it's telling me if table ex if table teams the teams table exists then drop it and then create a new one from scratch teams table with all the uh, columns their types and uh, the rest of it and then now it'll copy the data from that table as you have seen and it's ready here for insertion so it'll insert that on, on my new table when I import that now imagine you have actually dumped all the data in your table or in, or in your database and then copy that file somewhere to another server maybe if it's too big then you can use your USB stick or your external hard drive or maybe email it to yourself FTP it you know you found your way of copying it and then you want to copy you you, you know you want you find your way of transferring it and you want to copy it in you into a new uh, database of course make sure that the database is already there yeah if it's not created then you can create it and then import that in it or to it now if I go back to my SQL server uh, uh, these are the tables on my uh, teams DB yeah I have four tables now imagine that I am using a completely different server now somewhere else and I have this database whatever it, what its name is I mean I can create a new one and do that but just to save time I'm going to import this table now the content of this table now to this database but I'm going to have a small trick I am going to uh, drop the teams table first drop table teams table just to show you that this will actually work so if I do show table the team table is not there yes it's not there anymore imagine this was a, on a totally different machine I'll just complain again yeah um, this is a different machine a different database make sure the database exists of course and then I'm going to import that now into that database and the way I do it is using this command over here using the mysql again minus u root minus p for the password and then and give the database name and then the dump file name notice now the arrow now is to the left ie use the dump file as input now and take its contents and store them into my database so I'm going to copy and paste that here 
let me quit this notice now the team, teams database it doesn't actually have a teams table what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that and then tell it to copy that into my teams DB remember database name again please I know it's boring but if it's not there already you make sure you create it and then give it the path to my file name and it's teams dump pile as you can see if I hit enter now and give it my password if we have a look now here short there is what do you expect our teams table is there if I select star from teams table you can see it has the nine records yeah that's how you do it and by the way if you want to copy all the contents of a certain database you can use this command instead of giving it a table name just say minus p teams db yeah and this will copy the contents of all the tables inside this database into your dump file yeah and then when you want to import it into a different database maybe on a different server as I said before create database that database first and then use the exact same command uh, the same the exact same command here to import that the content of that dump file that you generated here into this uh, you know what let me do it so I can actually show you exactly that is, this is true so my SQL dump minus u root minus p for the password then the team database and then to my desktop database dump let me do that quickly I hope that won't take too long yes and now let me actually uh, you know, let's assume let's we quit now and then we log in again to our server imagine that we are on a different machine now and then I need to create let's say database uh, let me call it temp DB or something yeah so it's telling me database created if I do if I do show databases it'll show me that temp DP is there now and what I can do now I'm going to import the contents of my dump file now if I show it to you I'm going to import the contents of that file into my database so it will create all the tables as you can see that were in the teams DB and the command to do that as we said before is exactly the same we just need to specify the database name and the file name so we'll go there the database name now is what is temp db temp db and then the dump file is what is on my desktop and it's called database dump file yes just to go back just to double check now I need to say use temp db and then if I say show tables then it'll say I'm sorry I don't have any tables empty set but if I execute this command now, give it my password quickly successful and I do show tables again, what do you expect now? the tables are there, yeah, with their contents, yes, so if I do select star from this table then it'll show me the content of the table, I hope that makes sense um, I hope I didn't take too long of your time, but this is very very good stuff if you master this, then uh, you are on the right track of becoming an expert expert in MySQL. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.